Well, welcome everyone. My name is Val Reedman. I'm with Healthy Air Solutions. And we have a couple of websites, IndoorAirHealthAdvisor.com and also ShopRadon.com. We've been installing radon systems since 2006. And since about 2009, we began offering free consultations to homeowners who wanted to fix their own radon systems. Took a look on my website before and we've answered over 19,000 contact forms from people with their questions about a radon systems and how to do it. One of the, by far one of the most common questions that we receive is which radon fam do I need to install to fix my problem? Well, what is the objective um, from our point of view in helping you to install a radon uh, system that, that is gonna work? Well, number one, to make sure that radon level is as low as possible. But also, number two, to make sure that you do it with the fan that will be as energy efficient as possible and still get the radon level down low. So let's take a look at these, these uh, eight fans here that we've installed. This is representative of, of the three series of radon fans um, by the company Radon Away. First of all, they have the RP series fans. The uh, Radon RP145 is probably the most common radon fan installed in the United States today. It's a four inch radon fan. It's a medium pressure uh, uh, fan, and it's able to move a lot of air. It can move about 170 CFM. This fan would be installed in situations when there is lots of air to move. If you have a sump basin with perforated drain tile, or if you have clean gravel under your floor, basement size may be less than 2,000 square feet, you'll probably have very good results with the RP145. This fan operates at about 40 to 60 watts, depending on how much air is being moved through it. Another very good four inch radon fan is the RP140. Now this fan is only rated at 20 watts. It's an excellent choice if you can get away with it, but it needs to have free flowing air to move. It cannot be installed on anything that's even a little bit tight or it will overheat and, and not do the job. So this can be a very good choice too, but you might want to leave, need a little help with deciding whether or not this is the fan to use. Next in the RP series fans are six inch fans. I'm gonna share with you the RP265. This is a six inch radon fan. It can have good results on four inch pipe. And you might think about using this fan if you have a very high radon level, maybe in the 10 to 30 range, and a large footprint. So maybe a, a house with three to 4,000 feet may need a fan of this size, but actually, truthfully, it's quite rare that this fan needs to be used. But it is a good solution for a situation when there is a lot of air to move with a six inch fan. Next, we have the XP series. This fan was designed to be aesthetically pleasing. It's a little bit narrower than, the, than these other fans. Um, it's very similar though, being a four inch fan and its air movement characteristics to that of the RP145. Although both of these fans will move a little less air than the RP145. And finally, we have the GP series. Now in this line, there are a couple of other fans. There's a GP201, 301, which are also available on our website, but there's also the 401 and the 501 here. Now the GP501 is probably the fan that you're going to need if you have sand or dirt or clay underneath your basement floor. This fan is designed to draw hard on these situations in order to reach out and gather all of the radon under your basement and pull it out the vent. <clears throat> the GP501 is going to um, run at somewhere between 90 and 140 watts, depending on the situation. The GP401 can be used in some situations, but the airflow or the air movement needs to be a little bit more available than the, RP, the GP501. So the, the distinction between these two, um, it can be kind of hard to tell which one to use and it may be a time to, to ask us which one you think may work the best. So just to sum up here today, 
Um, the most common fans that we sell on our website is the RP145 and that GP20 or GP501. High airflow, high suction. If you have any questions, feel free to go on our websites, fill out a contact form, and we'd be glad to help you some more.